Welcome back students. Hope you all are preparing for your semester end examinations which are scheduled from next week. In today's lecture video, I am Chandrasekhar Utukuri going to work out for you all the very important concepts for the course Computer Oriented Statistical Methods COSM under J2H for R 22 regulation. Hope you have subscribed to my channel as well as shared my videos with your friends so that it may reach and help them too. If you haven't liked my video, please do it immediately so that it may support me in form of working out the other questions also of related to other courses. In today's video, I am going to let you know the very important and the concepts wise. I am going to give you only the concepts. I am not going to give you problems. You are supposed to be thorough with all these concepts to score out of out mark. And this course, many students feel that this is a tough subject and many of your seniors might have told that you are going to fail in this course. But in today's video, I am Chandrasekhar Utkuri going to let you know the very important concepts where you prepare accordingly and I am going to highlight you which units you are supposed to work to get a minimum pass mark as well as an excellent student to score better marks. The first question I have taken here is from the unit 5 that is all about 10th question I mean AB you will be getting 10 AB and 11 AB from the unit 5. Stochastic process classify them and the regular and non-regular matrices this is said to be one of the important question here in 10 A and Marco process and chain is said to be the topmost question related to Marco process you are going to get one question for sure and uh, the transition matrix is also said to be the topmost question. Dear students as you are going to get two short questions here and two long questions questions you are supposed to work out even the short questions also from this concepts where i'm highlighting states and chains classify them maybe the short question this time a random work model and recurrence time probability maybe the b question this time in this uh, 10 a b later you have even 11 a b also being asked from the unit 5 it's all about the stationary distribution and mark out chain is set to be the topmost and gunshot question dear students and you're going to get problems related to transition probabilities and one and two step transition probabilities such type of problems are sure this time in form of 10 11 ab or just 11 question if the problem is too lengthy in structure you're going to get 10 question 10 marks question a total of 12 marks will be asked from this parameters dear students hope you know the passing mark i have uploaded a video on passing mark as well as how to take the mathematical paper in your semester in the examination later i'll be covering with the question number 9 as well as 8 here i do not expect direct 10 mark question it is a combination of 5 and 5 testing of hypothesis i mean the z test is set to be the topmost question null and alternative hypothesis as well as the problem related to it may be asked in the eighth question this time and even the z test dear students sample test to test the significance of difference between the means and the problems related to difference between the means is set to be the topmost and gunshot question which may occur in ninth question this time later the point and interval estimation left right two tail test may be the short question this time and type one type two error as well as critical region also may be the short question this time in your question paper these are the questions will be covered from the unit four i mean the eighth and ninth question sometimes they may be only 10 mark question here or sometimes it is a five five split as well as the short questions for two marks also being covered from these two questions sometimes Later, I jump to the question number 6 and 7. It's all about the unit 3, the normal distribution and the properties related to the mean and variance and the distribution and the problems related to is said to be the topmost question related to normal distribution. You're getting one question and they may be asking you the mean and variance uh, problems also in the short questions sampling distribution and f test and g square is set to the topmost question which may occur in the seventh question this time giving a template of sample a sample b using the f test you are supposed to work out the problem like this this is one of the shortest unit but before going to work out you are supposed to work out which units for the getting the concept for the normal distribution you should have a minimum fundamentals of statistical methods this is set to be the sixth and seventh question in your semester end examination which you are going to take from next week Dear students, hope you are taking uh, all your uh, and important questions from my video and working out accordingly and do write one or two answers before going to the exam and test your skills and test how well you are writing and how much time you are spending to work out one problem so that in three hours of time you are supposed to attempt five long questions as well as 10 short questions to score out of out mark. Now, a student who is 
whoever is taking this course need to go with unit 1 and 2 for sure compulsory as i was told in the beginning which you're not supposed to which units you are supposed to work out unit 1 and unit 2 are mandate to work whereas you'll be getting the several concepts related to i mean the basic fundamentals will be covered here so that i have kept on paper here you want it one and two questions together and the problems where you are going to get 24 marks from these questions i mean the concept wise you are supposed to work out for the semester end examination state and probe based theorem is set to be the topmost and gunshot question i mean i'm going to work out for you two three as well as four five questions together here and even the short questions from a b c d addition theorem for two events may be the third question sample space or the random experiment and the event is set with the topmost question multiplication theorem and just based theorem and the probability density and the mass function are related to these concepts you'll be getting two questions for short from this concepts that may be a theorem or that may be a problem or that may be a statement make sure to carry your calculator as well as all the stationery to the end examination and coming to the problems how they'll be asked from the unit one to I request all the students to clear this subject in a single attempt so that you will be not taking it to the next semester where you have many core subjects you are going to study in the coming semester in the examinations. So you are supposed to clear your exams in a single attempt. Make sure that you are supposed to promote from second year to third year. There are minimum number of credits where I'm going to do that video also in the coming days to go. And coming to the problems, you have discrete random variables or the continuous random variables. From these concepts, you are going to get one question for sure, damn sure. And the mean and variance as well as to find the value of k is set with the topmost question. And the binomial distribution and the poison distribution from these two concepts, either in 3ab or 4th, sorry, 4th or 5th, you'll be getting the binomial as well as poison's distribution and the problems related to it and the random variables and the distribution function may be the short question here and the random variables may be the long or the short question this time and you need to derive them in the binomial as well as poison's distribution make sure to work out all these questions where i have highlighted on this paper and do not read bits and pieces whichever the question you are not going to work that may occur in the paper that leads to failure dear students make sure to work out all these concepts which have highlighted on the paper in a sequential order because it is a combination of two two questions with a or option if you miss one question you cannot work out the other question of that concerned unit you be prepared with the three units for maximum minimum so that one and two is mandatory and the students who are going with one and two can even go with the third unit or the fifth unit whereas the fourth unit is too lengthy in structure so you can go one two three as well as fourth unit fifth unit dear students hope you are going to subscribe to my channel as well as share this content with your friends and do comment if you are looking for any other course and do not forget to give a thumbs up to my channel videos hope you are going to do well by performing all the questions in a stipulated given time of three hours and if you're looking for any other course do not forget to comment good luck and god bless you all dear students this is your chandra shaker utukuri signing off Thank you.